Hello everybody. How are you all feeling? Welcome, welcome. How's everybody's Wednesday going? Hopefully it's going fantastic. I'm on here live, waiting for my iPod to warm up. Just wanted to welcome you all to Elements Health Club Springfield for some chair yoga. So today, if you have not taken this class with me, you are going to need if you're on a hardwood floor or a tile floor, you'll want to use a yoga mat, okay? You can be barefoot if you want, socks if you want, don't mind the kitty hair. Um, make sure that you have a chair that has no arms, preferably, and make sure that it's easy, like easy access to move in case we need to move our chair to an end as we do any leg extensions. Make sure that you have room around for that movement. Hi, hi, welcome to Elements Health Club Springfield for chair yoga. This is your coach Dory coming at you. We're gonna get started in just a few minutes. I'm gonna have a little bit of meditation music in the background for myself. Uh, if you would like at your home to put on some music that makes you feel nice and relaxed, if you want to play something in the background on your TV, like an ocean sound or a jungle sound, animal sounds, whatever makes you nice and happy. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to not do the best smiling. Oh, I got a Pandora up here. I haven't used that in forever. How's everybody doing? Are you surviving? Let me, I have a couple of different cameras going right now so that we can post this up on YouTube as well. Thank you for all of your understanding. Recently with the news with my knee, I actually went to the doctor today and I had um, x-rays taken to make sure she does not think there's any ACL damage or tears in the ligaments. It's just my severe osteoarthritis. We're going to try some conventional ways, more natural conventional ways um, to reduce inflammation and to prolong having a knee replacement. So yay, appreciate all your support. But that does require no dancing for a while any kind of dancing for at least three to four weeks. So I'll be dancing in my head and I'll be able to bring you nice low impact uh, workouts for you. One, it happens to be chair yoga. Okay, so I guess I don't have um, anything on here. So we're just gonna get started here instead. Okay, I'm going to Turn that off. That is off. Okay, so as I come down, I welcome you to chair yoga. I am going to get my videos started as we start. It's a face ID. <laughs> All right, so get your chair, get your mat to get yourself ready. I am ready to start with you. Let's do some chair yoga. Three, two, one. Welcome. This is Coach Jory coming at you live from Elements Health Clubs in Springfield. We are going to do chair yoga today. So stand in front of your chair. Make sure that your body at this point is nice and comfortable. You want to make sure that when you're sitting in your chair that you're on your sit bones. Okay. Let's just fix my, my shirt here the cord. Okay, so I want your hips nice and square, shoulders square. I want you to sit there. Go ahead and get everything ready. <sighs> Hands on top of your thighs and just breathe. We're going to focus on our breath. Inhaling, 
exhaling. Feet are about hip width apart, okay? Nice and even. I just want you to relax those brows where we have caused those wrinkles to happen on our forehead. Relax those eyes, the nose, the cheeks, your jawline, your ears, your chin, okay? Your chest, your shoulders. Just sit nice and comfortable in this position here. Just breathing in and out. I welcome you to close your eyes if needed. Stay in that position. I'm going to do something over here real quick. I need to help with the lighting. Just breathing in and out. That's better. Inhale. Exhale. There you go. At this time, go ahead and release those hands down to your sides. And I just want you to sit in that comfortable position, arms and shoulders relaxed, chest is up, tailbone is tucked, abs is up, engaged. Feet are grounded to the floor. And from here, we're just going to scoop and lean forward. Come back up to sitting. So we're just scooping our body into a little ball, rocking back and forth ever so slightly. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just slow movements. Reflecting on our daily Just warming up the spine ever so slightly. From here, just turn to your left, back to center, turn to your right, back to center. Scoop forward. To your left or your right, just opposite way. Scoop down. Okay, from here, come back to neutral. I want you to raise those arms, inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Continue that movement. There we go. Inhale. Keep going. Very good. This last one, hold the top. And just slightly lean to your left, circle to the front, opposite side to the right, back to neutral. Lean to your right or your left, opposite direction. Hold here, exhale. Very good. Inhale up. We're going to do that again. Slight lean, roll around. Waking up that gut, that GI. Two more times, inhale. Remember to 
keep your chin and your shoulders relaxed as you raise your body up to the ceiling. Inhale, last one, slight lean, round that tummy, opposite direction, and down, working those shoulders. Inhale, here we're just gonna lean a little to one side Drop that lower arm as we raise and extend our body from fingertip to fingertip. Now you're not moving those hips. Those hips are there. You're just dropping that shoulder down, reaching and extending. Neck is nice and relaxed, not touching either part of the shoulders. Inhale, raise that arm up. Opposite side, exhale and stretch as you extend those extremities from one side to the next without lifting those hips off that chair or losing that square. Very good. Breathing in and out. Raising that arm back up. Good. From here, inhale. I want you to slightly bend, hinge at the hips as you lean forward in your chair. Feet are grounded. Raise those arms. If you have any rotator cuffs or your shoulders, place those hands gently on your knee, but your chest is what's coming down when you're hinging. You're from a perpendicular spine from your head to your spine, tailbone. Just hold here, raise the arms if you can. If not, here is fine. Hinge at those hips, shoot back up. Lean to the left or right, one side, drop that arm down. Really stretching. Arm back up, opposite side. Very good. Inhale, arm goes up. Hinge at the hips. Hold here. You can even alternate and do one hand and the other. Whatever is comfortable to you. Hinge of those hips back up and down. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Inhale up. Hinge of the hips. Hold here. Back up. Drop that arm down. Maintain that form. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Hinge of the hips. Back up to neutral. Very good. Shake those shoulders out. Very good. Okay, from here, we are going to arms, shoulder height, and we're going to do slight twists from one direction to the opposite direction. From 
to center, I want you to just lean back to center, lean, really working and focusing on those abdominal obliques. You're not lifting those hips off that chair. You're just ever so slightly airplaning from side to side. Really working that waist. Very good. One more. Back to center. Slight twist. Back to center. Make sure you're breathing. In and out. Maintaining that parallel arms. And this next one, I want you to hold here. Place that other arm on your side and just twist ever so slightly, just a little bit more. Come back to neutral. Raise the arm, opposite direction. Place that hand on that hip. Make sure you're breathing. Back to neutral. Arms out. Raise up. And down. Very good. Now we're going to go forward motion. As we just gently raise our arm up to shoulder height on each side. fluid movement. We're stopping back at neutral, going in and out. Stop here. Now I want you to push it back, back to neutral. Push it back. Okay. Strengthen those triceps ever so slightly. part of the body. Try to kick it straight back as if you're ready to fold. Maintain breath. Stop here. Bring both arms to the front. Across. Down. Back. Neutral. Front. Across down, back. I want you to do that fluid movement. Just really working those shoulders. Opening up those arms. Maintaining that stability in the chair. Feet are grounded. Pointing those fingers, making yourself feel long and lean with every move. And shake it off. All right, we're ready to start standing up out of our chair. As we inhale, we're going to move our arms forward to standing. Slight back extension, back to standing, scooping as we do a half-seated chair pose. Back up and sit down. Okay, so we're gonna do those while we're breathing, inhaling, exhaling, focusing, body alignment. Here we go. Scoop up standing, slight back extension, scoop those arms, half-seated chair pose. Make sure that your head and your spine are completely aligned, okay? You want that form to be just correct. 
shoulders away from your ears, arms shooting directly adjacent to your head. Stand back up, slight back extension, scoop those arms back to half seated chair pose. <sighs> One more time. Extension, scoop, hold here. We're gonna hold here for 60 seconds. So get comfortable. If you need to drop those arms and have support, know that your chair is there. You can raise your hands back to your chair. The main thing is to keep those shoulders, hips, everything is in straight form. If you want to advance it, extend the arms and breathe. Make sure you hold here. Breathing in and out. That tummy is tucked. That abdomen is connected. Core is strong. You're halfway there, 30 more seconds. You got this. Spread those toes out more, more stability. Maintain that form, don't give up. 10 more seconds. Very good, right here, stand back up. Light back extension and down. Very, very good. Okay, from here, we're going to move to the side of the chair. So, I want you to make sure that you have enough room for your arm to swing. I don't want you to actually whip the chair. Okay, so from here, we're going to work a little bit on balancing. So the chair is there as your tool, okay? If you don't want to use it, you do not have to. So I want your feet to be about hip width apart, okay? The closer you put your feet together, the more advancement for your practice, for your balance. If you need a little bit less advancement, then make it hip width apart, okay? Your chair is there for your tool, from here, I want you to position all that weight onto that standing leg, okay? Your chair is there just in case you need your balance. Use the tool. Go ahead and tiptoe on your foot on the opposite leg. Once you feel that your hips are square, all that weight is on that one side, shoulders are even, everything is strengthen. I want you to go ahead and open that leg to the side. If you can lift it, hold here. Hips are aligned, thigh is open, knee on top of ankle. All weight is distributed on that one leg. Raise the arm. Hold here. Now, if you can place your foot on your calf for tree pose, hold here. This is how you get into this position. If you'd like to drop that other arm and hold, hold here. One minute and here we go. Hold that posture. Look forward at something, find a spot on the wall on the floor, in front of you, and just hold that there. That helps with your stability. Don't let yourself drop. Try to stand as tall as you can without your ears constricting your shoulders. Chest is open. You're halfway there. Now, if you lose balance, just tap that toe on the ground and go back up. This is your practice. Take it to your level. 
10 more seconds. Keep holding. Remember to breathe. Almost there. Slowly lower one arm to the chair, opposite arm to the hip. Release that leg down. And I want you to take that heel and snug it right to the middle of your foot as you push your hip to that chair, okay? And as we lean, just stretch out that movement right there. Come back up. Position the leg directly in front of your other foot. Hips are square, chest is forward. You're going to hinge up the hips and just release. You can drop those arms down. Okay, everybody's practice is different. I have to tell you. Come back up, hinge up the hips. Go ahead and take that same leg, take it behind the heel. And now, on the opposite side, we're going to lean forward. You can drop those hands if you want, or you can place one on the hip and the chair. Just make sure that they are aligned. So sometimes having your hands focused so that you know that you're even helps with that stretch. Release, coming back up. Go ahead, tap forward and back forward and back. And last one. Forward and back. Lift the knee up. Hold here. Cradle that leg if you'd like. Okay. You can use the chair if you need it for balance. that form. Make sure that all that weight is on that one leg. Tap it down. <laughs> Good snapping. Okay, shake it out. Good job. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, find your placement of your chair. Make sure that you have enough room for your arm to spin, yet you have the chair right there for your movement. So again, from here, hips, chest, ankles, knees. Tummy's tucked, ab is controlled, engaged, okay? From here, using the chair if you'd like, go ahead and distribute all that weight on that standing leg. Nice and strong. You can toe tap that other foot just to make sure, try to help get your balance, okay? Go ahead and open. So hips are square, so I don't want to see any dropping. You got to find that happy medium, but yet all your balance is on that one foot. Okay? So from here, hold it, use the chair if you need. Go ahead and lift it up so that the thigh is open, knee on top of ankle. Go ahead and bring that on your calf, not on your knee. Now. Some may have to warm up that ligament. I want you to be nice and open. Hips are nice and square, shoulders square. Hold here, raise that arm. Now here is good. If you wanna take it a step further, drop that other arm, raise together. This leg is a little a little weak, but that's why the chair is there. This is your tool. We're gonna to start counting 60 seconds now. Remember to be nice and tall. Find that spot on the wall, on the floor, something in front of you. And focus by breathing in, breathing out, putting all that energy 
into your breath. Almost halfway there. Holding here. You can do this. Remember, if you lose your balance, just toe tap and go right back to it. Okay. 15 more seconds. You're doing great. Slowly lower that arm to the chair. Slowly lower the other arm to your hip. Release that foot. Okay. I want you to kick that heel to the center of that sturdy leg and just lean ever so slightly from just your hip and hold here to really maximize that stretch. Very good. Back up. I want you to take that other leg, place it right in front of your toes as you hinge from the hips forward. Okay. Just hold here. Keep breathing. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. Slowly hinge back up. Okay. Chair is there if needed. Go ahead and kick that back leg. Stick it right behind the heel. And again, make sure that we're square. Hinge from those hips as we drop down. Now, I, like I say, I use the hands to know where my shoulder and my back is at. I'm not scooping my back. I'm like a board. I have drinks on my back that I'm not letting fall over. I'm maintaining that strength. Right here. Very good. Remember the chair is there if you need to do this. But those hands really help make you stay centered. Hinge back up from your, ooh, from your hips, see? There we go, release. And I want you to toe tap front, back, front, back, front, back. Last one here. Go ahead and lift that knee up. If you need to, you can embrace. Hug that knee in. If you need to use a chair. And release. Okay, shake it out. Very good. Okay, so now let's start with our warrior one, two, and three. I'm going to go ahead and go on the other leg. Seems how I just worked that one. I don't want it to get over stimulated so quickly. So we're gonna work on our downward dogs. I want you to be a good, probably about a foot, 12 inches from your chair. If you need to be closer due to the fact that there's not much movement or balance, then that is fine too. I also want you to know that you're able to turn the chair around from the back. And as long as your hands can touch, this would be okay as well. So if you're not able to get down like we are further, you can use this tool of the chair by just stepping back further so that when you go down and you're at arm's length and you go down, your head is able to go between your shoulder blades, okay? As you maintain that form. Now that doesn't require you to get down further but it does help for those who don't have much movement. So do what is right for you. This is your practice. So from here, I'm gonna stand at least a foot away and I'm very flexible, so I'm gonna go a little bit further. I don't wanna overextend my knee too much, so I'm gonna go half of what I normally do. Okay, from here, I want your hips to be square, chest 
knees, ankles. Your feet are together, hands by your side, shoulders are relaxed, core is engaged. From here, raise those arms up, inhale, and hinge at the hips, down to downward dog. As we release our head, neck, and shoulders from touching. Okay. Really shoot that spine up to the sky. It's almost as if someone has a string and is pulling your spine up as the rest of your body is going down with gravity. So I want you to hold here. For those who need a bigger stretch, take a, dip, a step back. For those who don't want one as much, do the other two alternatives I have shown you. Step forward closer to the chair or turn the chair so that the back is closer to where your hands are. So I want you to come and raise yourself to tabletop. Drop those arms and then hinge a little bit further from your hips and try to touch those fingertips to the floor. Now, if you can only reach your shins, that's fine. If you can only reach your ankles, that's fine. If you can reach your toes, you're doing great. Okay, and then you can try to place the fingertips to the mat. I want you to breathe here. Relax and start to roll your body up one vertebrae at a time. Head and neck last, raise those arms up. Just a slight back extension as you tighten the glutes. And relax. Very good. Now we're gonna do that two more times, only with some leg extensions with the downward dog. So make yourself nice and in line. Inhale up. Downward dog. I want you to take one leg and extend it up to the ceiling as we hold here. Very good. Keeping that alignment, not overextending, breathing in and out. Slowly lower the leg, back to original position. Bring yourself up to tabletop, lower those arms, slowly hinge at the hips to reach ever so slightly a little bit further than before. Each exhale, just release those hips. But whatever muscle seems to feel really tight, don't over push. Let your body do it on its own. The more you relax and the more you exhale, the deeper it allows your body to get into that flex. Slowly roll your body back up. One vertebrae at a time. Head and neck last, arms up, inhale. Slight back extension. Oh, back to neutral and down. Very good. Last time with the opposite leg being raised. Make sure that your alignment is centered and inhale up. Downward dog. Make sure your position is correct. Raise that opposite leg up to the ceiling. Hold here. Breathe. 
we've got this. Breathing in, breathing out. Keeping that form, that strong leg grounded to the floor. Slowly lower that leg back down. Downward dog. Raise yourself back up to tabletop. Drop those arms. Hinge from the hips as we go down even further. We're going to hold here for 60 seconds, breathing in and out. For those who might want a deeper stretch, placing those fingertips underneath those toes, really trying to get that forehead to those shins. Breathe here. We're halfway there. 20 more seconds. Ten more. Raise those fingers. Slowly roll one vertebrae at a time. Back up to neutral. Inhale, back extension. Back to neutral and arms down. Very good. Okay, now that we have worked <laughs> that portion of our legs and warmed up, I want you to take one leg and put it close to where your chair feet are, okay? Right in the center. The other opposite leg, depending on what you choose, I want you to kick it back. Now, the further you kick it back, the further you're going to get a stretch. But also, the form is more important, making sure that that back heel is touching the ground, okay? Making sure that that knee doesn't extend, but stays directly stacked on top of that ankle. So whatever strength or position you need to have, those are the two elements to keep in mind. I want those hips to be squared as we're straining forward. I want your arms and your shoulders and your abs tucked, glutes tight, Hold here, raise the arms. Now, if you need to use a chair, this would be your movement. One hand to hold for balance, other one is to stand staying high. And hold here. I'm going to raise my other arm because I can. Breathing in and out. Just hold here. Hmm. Hold that balance. Go ahead and open the arms up as you turn facing forward. Now that back leg is going to pivot as you lift your heel to pivot facing forward. This leg stays the same, stacked on top of that ankle. Hips are not leaned. They're nice and square, stacked on top of your shoulders. Arms are out. As we slight lean with the top of our body, not the knee, just the top. Hold here. Gaze looking over your fingertips. And breathe. Got 30 more seconds. You got this. Really reaching with those fingertips, maintaining that straight line. Keep 
your legs are shaking, you're doing a good job. It's okay. Slowly lean back to neutral. As we lower the opposite arm, that's the same side as your leg, and lean down as you gaze up at those fingertips from the sky. Hold here. Now, if your body, hold there, if your body ends up getting a little tweak or you feel a muscle, you just come right back out of it. Hold yourself. Reposition. Usually that means you might be going too far than what your body can handle. So each section is whatever is comfortable for you. As long as you maintain that same knee stacked on top of ankle, hips, shoulders, ear, and you're reaching and extending, it doesn't matter how far. This is your practice. You take it to your level. There's always alternative movements. From here, take this leg, pull it in forward. So if you're back here, go ahead and turn, pivot. Hips are square, engage that core, tuck that tailbone, bring those arms up. And I want you to slowly hinge from your hips all the way down, if you can, to the floor. Release those hips further as you try to press the palms. You want to place them by your feet ever so slightly. Hold here and breathe. Now we're going to go a step further. If you'd like to stay here, you can. Otherwise, if you'd like to advance, place your hands and your palms to the mat as you extend and lower that booty from the top Could you try? to the bottom. Hold here. Goddess. Hands can be here. Back up. Slowly roll your body one vertebrae at a time. Bring back up to neutral. Arms up and down. Very good. Now jump or step in and in. And from here, I want you to just swing your legs ever so slightly from one to the next. You just did a great strengthening, and we're going to go on to the other side. Okay, so if you just did one leg, I'm doing it this way so that I can face you both ways that I go. If you didn't have to move the chair, just make sure that your opposite foot, as we get ready for these next position, is the one that goes in alternate directions, okay? So one leg, one foot is going to be right in between the chairs in the center. As you kick back, that back leg, okay? I want you to bend that knee so it is stacked on top of that ankle and that heel needs to touch the floor. Hips are square. Oops. This is my knee that's a little bit more wonky, but I'm strengthening and learning. So I'm gonna use the chair as I hold my position. Really feel that stretch, tighten those glutes, knee. A little too far, the knee needs to be on top of the ankle. Tailbone is tucked. Inhale, hold here. Okay, main thing is the form. The fact that you have the knee stacked on top of the ankle. The heel in the back is touching the ground. Your abdomen is tucked. Your core is tight. Your hips are square. You got 40 more seconds. Breathing in and out. We're almost there. Maintain that form. We're over. 
over halfway. You've got this. Okay, from here, we're going to start opening up our arms and facing front. Remember, this leg, we pivot from our heel so that we're facing forward, okay? Knee stacked on top of ankle. Hips are nice and square, they're not like this. Squared, shoulders stacked evenly. Arms are out, parallel, as we slightly lean from our top. Just our torso, not our knee. Hold here. Look out over your shoulder. See through those fingertips. From one direction. Here we go. 60 seconds. And breathing. This is where you're fueling your fire right now. Your legs should be shaky and wobbly. You can feel your core. You're nice and tight. Burning so many calories right now. You are strong. You're powerful. Hold that form for 20 more seconds. And release, come back to neutral. Drop that back arm down the leg as the other one shoots up to the sky. And we hold here. You've got this. Now again, remember if you have any kind of hip feeling that doesn't feel right, you just pull your legs closer. The main thing is to have that same form as we go. So I'm trying to show you alternate movements. For people who don't have that much flexibility or movement, you still get the same quality just by maintaining that form. 20 more seconds. Breathing in and out. Slowly release. Arm goes on the chair. Pivot that foot. Other side. Okay. From here, tailbone is tucked, stacked on top. As we hinge at our hips and we go down, all the way to the mat if possible, or whatever is at your flexibility. Hands by your feet. Drop that head. Relax those arms. Now for those who want an advancement, bring those hands center, bend those knees as we hold here into goddess. Lower those arms if you want. Just make sure that that booty is down. Bring it back up. And we're gonna slowly roll from one vertebrae at a time. Head and neck last. Arms up and down. Go ahead and step or jump those feet back together. Go ahead and just swing. You just did a lot of work and they're feeling it, I'm sure. <laughs> 
Very good. All right, good job. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and center our chair, Fit has Boo, and we're going to go ahead and have a seat. Good job today. So we're a little longer than normal, so we're gonna do our five around the world, and then end it with a namaste. So make sure that you're on your sit bones, tailbone is engaged and tucked, ab is engaged, tailbone is tucked, shoulders, hips, booty, chair. Feet are nice and about hip width apart, okay? Hands on top of our thighs, and I'm gonna do a couple cat cows before we go ahead and do the around the world. So I want you to slowly lower your hands as you curl your stomach and your abdomen in, as you just curl like a cat. And then exhale, arch that body as we go moo. So inhale, exhale. Just two more, inhale. Exhale. Last set, here we go. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Okay, from here, arms go down by your side, palms are facing out. We're going to inhale up, palms together, two hearts. We're gonna swim, inhale out. Oh, embrace the world, exhale out. Inhale, arms up. And spread the love all over the world. Here we go, four more, inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last two. Last one, end with namaste. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. I hope you had a blast here with Elements Health Club Springfield Page doing some chair yoga for all of the Elements and Crunch Fitnesses teams. So with that being said, follow Facebook and Instagram lives for all of our coaches to come at you with awesome workouts and availabilities and some fitness talks. So check it out. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Thank you.